Are you looking to not only learn how to play tennis, but also get good enough to join a local league, play a tennis tournament, or maybe just beat a colleague, friend, or family member? Well, in this video series, I'm going to be teaching you the key fundamental skills. I'm talking the same fundamentals used by the best players in the world, and I'm going to be breaking those down into a manageable process that you can do from home. So go ahead, get your tennis racket and a ball, and get ready to get to work. What's up guys, Zach here with Grow Tennis, and on this channel we're serving up easy and affordable ways to get more people playing tennis and mastering their fundamentals. So if you think the game of tennis is awesome and you want to help us grow the game, please share this series with a friend or consider subscribing. Now let's go ahead and get into your training. The first thing that we're going to learn is what the tennis industry commonly refers to as the continental grip. And the continental grip is basically the grip that the pros use on every single shot except their forehand and maybe the one-handed backhand. In fact, the continental grip is so widely used, I personally call it the universal grip. And that's because it's the same grip you're going to be using on any volley, touch shot, any kind of slice. Uh, it's really great for defense, and you'll most likely be using it on your backhand as well. And over my years of coaching, I've found that the students that start with this universal grip often have a much wider range of what they're capable of on a tennis court. And to find your universal grip, you're going to want to line up this line right here between your thumb and pointer finger. And you're going to line that up with that line where the strings are and then follow that all the way down to your grip. Coaches often refer to this part of the grip as the first bevel. A bevel is just one section of the racket handle that you can see in this picture. And each bevel on the racket handle is numbered one through eight. And depending on which type of shot you're trying to hit, you will need to adjust your hand on the grip, which we will be going over later in the series. So now that you know how to find your grip, the next thing we need to learn is a concept called the self rally. A self rally is when you keep the ball going to yourself following this touch, bounce, touch, bounce pattern. And although this may seem like a simple drill, you're actually teaching yourself a lot of key things that will help you control the ball better when you start playing. And what this exercise will do is help your brain make the connection between what your hands and feet need to do in order to control the flight of the ball. So in general, the ball is always going to go where your strings are facing and your hands are pretty much just connected to your strings, meaning whichever way your hands facing, that's going to directly impact the direction of the ball. For this drill to work well, you're going to want to keep your strings flat or facing straight up in order for the ball to reflect directly up off your strings. It's also helpful to lift the ball up to around eye level. This will allow your feet enough time to adjust and reposition while also making it easy enough to control the ball within your space. And although hitting the ball higher will give you more time, it'll also make it much more difficult to control where your ball will be impacting the ground. With a little bit of practice, you should be able to follow this pattern on your palm side your knuckle side and alternating from your palm and knuckle without changing your grip. I challenge you to find your universal grip and practice that touch bounce touch bounce pattern while trying to keep the ball inside of a small space. A good goal for this challenge is to successfully be able to keep the ball going inside your space 20 times in a row. Listen to me. Before moving on, I strongly suggest that you take the time and master your palm side, your knuckle side, and the alternating side before moving on to the next video. Then, once you complete all three challenges, it's time to watch the next video where we go into further detail on building your strike zone. Now, if you're under 10 years old, or if you have kids that are under 10 years old that you're thinking about getting into tennis, you might want to consider our Grow Tennis Development Kit. The Grow Kit is a physical product with different tools and training aids that I use every day to help pique a child's curiosity, develop a growth mindset, and teach them the fundamental athletic skills that they need in order to successfully keep a ball going with somebody else. And if you're interested in this development kit, you can find out more information by following that link, which I'll put in the video description as well. Question, what part of the world are you watching this video from? How old are you and what is your athletic background? Also, how long did it take you to successfully complete all these challenges? Let us know in the comment section below. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to ring that bell for any notifications. 
you're ready to move to the next video, you can watch this one. Or if you want to build your own backboard, you can click on this video here. And until next time, stay positive, keep practicing, and you will see improvement over time. Good luck.